guys, so I'm here today to do my monthly favourites for the month of February. As always, I really enjoy at the end of each month reflecting back on the month that's just passed and kind of remembering the best bits and the things that I really enjoyed that you might then go on to enjoy in March if you haven't read, watched, seen them yet. So let's jump straight into it, shall we? Um, now, I don't have a book that I adored this month. I actually didn't read any five-star reads. Um, but the, the book I enjoyed the most this month was probably Ali Smith's The Accidental. This is my third Ali Smith book, and um, I found it different from the other two I'd read in that one of them was a play and the other one was a very short myth retelling, um, just over 150 pages, that was part of the Canongate myth series. Whereas this was a prose novel, although weirdly kind of similar to the play I read by her called The Seer in plot, there was some weird like sort of plot device overlaps, it was interesting actually to read and um, Ali Smith's writing style is very distinctive and I actually really enjoyed this book, I it definitely has made me want to go out and read more of her full length novels, I'll probably be reading How To Be Both Next since everybody seems to adore that one. This one is about a family who aren't very good at communicating or kind of involved in their own heads a lot and a woman comes to stay with them in their holiday home but it turns out none of them actually know her they have all just assumed that somebody else in the family knows her and have just been interacting with her and it goes on from there but I will be doing a full review of it so look out for that as films go there's a few films I enjoyed this month I saw a couple of films in the cinema and I really enjoyed both of them but one of them really stands out to me and that is Spotlight now I generally don't watch a lot of more serious uh, kind of drama films, kind of slower paced, based on real stories kind of films. I have really enjoyed some in the past, but they're not the they're not the genre of film I usually gravitate towards. I'm I'm definitely a great lover of comedy films, which this was not. Um, if you haven't heard of Spotlight, it's based on the true story of a group of journalists who. Um, spend months and months, if not years, on a piece about um, corruption and paedophilia within the Catholic Church. And it was incredibly powerful, it was so well acted. I don't know where um, liberties were taken with um, what really happened, but it really didn't feel over dramatised to me, it felt so real and I think that's why it was so hard hitting, um, but it was also very beautiful cinematography, so I would highly recommend you see it if you haven't. Um, I'll also briefly mention the other film I saw in the cinema this month because I did enjoy it and it was Deadpool. Deadpool actually surprised me in how much I liked it. When they were only discussing making the film, um, I myself was very concerned how they might do the fourth wall um, breakage that is quite a large part of the Deadpool comic books and um, I was worried they wouldn't do it but then if they did do it they'd do it badly because it is a difficult thing to get right especially in that kind of genre but they were so successful like I think the way the breaking of the fourth wall was done in Deadpool was so funny and so spot on and managed to make me laugh without pulling me out of the story and reminding me too much that this was just a fictional um, superhero story, more of an anti-hero, but um, really funny, really enjoyed it. I think Ryan Reynolds very much recovered from the atrocity that was Deadpool in Wolverine, um, so I am, um, I was really happy with the film and I look forward to any sequels that come out. But one other film that I didn't see in the cinema that isn't a recent release but I watched for the first time this month was What We Do in the Shadows, which is on Netflix, it's on UK Netflix, and it is a New Zealand mockumentary about vampires in New Zealand and it's just like basically about a flat share of vampires. I won't say any more than that, it's absolutely hilarious, it's by the creators of Flight of the Concord. It's a lot better than Shark vs Eagle or is it Eagle vs Shark which was okay but I wasn't blown away by and um, this was absolutely hilarious and I would highly recommend it. I don't really have any TV to really talk about, I haven't been watching that many TV series um, this month so but I might not have been watching a lot of television shows but I have been watching a lot of YouTube videos and I've definitely got some YouTube videos I'd like to talk about with you. The first is sort of a channel favourite and a series favourite and a videos favourite and that is Rosianna's Space Camp. So Rosianna has been doing a video pretty much every day, I think she's done every day, there might have been some missed ones, I'm not sure, um, over on her channel every day in February and I have been 
thoroughly enjoying the videos she's been uploading. They have been so interesting, some of them have, been, have made me think, others have been very comforting. I find Rosianna's videos incredibly articulate, they're not overly scripted or edited, in fact they're usually just things she's saying off the top of her head that she's maybe, maybe been mulling over. And I really like that and she doesn't ramble despite that and Space Camp has just been an excellent example of that skill. So I would highly recommend catching up on Rosianna's Space Camp if you haven't been watching them. There's some really good ones in there so I'll link my favourites from the month in the um, description box. And saying that, another YouTuber that's really impressed me with the amount of excellent content they've been uploading this month is Sana over at Books and Quills. Um, it's, she's been doing something she does every year which is Helmiku, which I am so not pronouncing right. Um, I believe it's Dutch for February and um, for many years now she's uploaded a video every day in February. And even though she's been uploading every day, her content has in no way slipped her content is always so on point and um, I've been in particular really enjoying the collabs she's been uploading this month so again I'll link some of those down below. But for two more specific videos I want to mention the book chemist 7 tips on how to read more which was so funny it was one of those videos where it was kind of instructional and did give advice but at the same time it was just really tongue in cheek and really funny so I think you'll get two things if you go and watch it you may get some tips on how to read more and you may also get a laugh so I would highly recommend checking out his video. Then there is Lauren over at Reads in a Daydreams video which is basically a reflection video on her January. Lauren has some insane editing and kind of just um, directing skills when she's cutting her videos together and putting music over the top and voiceovers and I so enjoy any kind of vlog she does. I think she needs more recognition for her just amazing video making skills um, and this was another amazing example of that and I just also just found it kind of inspirational a video to watch and Lauren's my friend and I absolutely love her and I think she's a really phenomenal person and I love having conversations with her but even like just as an outsider I just found this video very like comforting and inspirational and um go get it and I think a lot of her videos recently have been like that and I've been really enjoying them she did one about not getting stressed out about um picking your career which I mentioned last month, she did one on why you can do maths even if you think you can and um, yeah I've been really enjoying seeing more of her skill sets and her talk about more than just books on her channel recently so I'd highly recommend that video. And lastly for videos is a video of, over on C.A. Dubois channel and this is a video Chinsia uploaded about ballet. In fact Chinsia in general has just been uploading a few more videos recently and I've been really enjoying them. Just another person who does not realise how amazing they are at making videos. Um, she always has such insightful things to say. I love listening to her. She just delivers things in a really engaging way. Her videos are always very aesthetically pleasing to watch and um, in particular she filmed a video all about ballet this month and how she's been really enjoying going to the ballet and I feel very privileged that I got to go to one of those ballets with her which was Snow White. Now I saw this ballet in January but I'm going to mention it as a favourite now and if you get a chance to see this ballet, I think myself and Chinsia would say do it. Do it, do it, do it. Even if you've never seen a ballet before in your life. This was my second ballet and it was more than just a ballet, it was the best on stage performance I've ever seen in my life. I adored it. There was bits of narration in there if the thought of ballets lacking speech puts you off as it does me somewhat. Um, there was amazing music, there was even some sort of comical music in there, the set, the costumes, the dancing, the story was all perfect and this was actually an adaptation of Snow White by Carol Ann Duffy into ballet. It was a really interesting um, Snow White ballet as well so I would highly recommend it if you get a chance to see it. I know my lovely friend Celia uh, bought tickets to go and see it after I raved about it to her but she's in London so that does tell me that it is touring. But my second from last favourite is actually a booktube meetup. Um, there was a little booktube meetup in London um, in February which I was lucky enough to be able to go to because I had a few other things going on in London around that time so I was able to kind of schedule my trains around that and have a really lovely weekend in London which 
included the booktube meetup and I had so much fun I had so much fun reconnecting with booktube friends I've known for a long time and have met in person before and also getting to meet people who I've watched for ages but never met in person that was really wonderful and we just wandered around London and chatted and we went to Wagamama's and had some lunch and just had a really nice time talking about books and lots of other things lots of I had lots of conversations about vegetarianism actually and although we're all into books and that's what's brought us together we're also different it's so lovely getting to interact with one another so definitely a favorite and I will link down below the channels of all of the other booktubers that were on the meetup but lastly just a quickie and that is a sweetie and it is some chocolate eggs I had two left I managed to save them for this video they're just these little chocolate eggs from Hotel Chocolat now I don't buy myself expensive chocolate very often and honestly I prefer a bar of Cadbury's most often to anything else but I'm also a big fan of dark chocolate and I'm also a big fan of praline and these are dark chocolate praline eggs they're so delicious like honestly one or two I couldn't eat anymore because they're so rich and indulgent and gorgeous but they're such a treat and not only that but they are vegan so if you are a vegan these might be a nice little treat so they're a nice little combination there and yeah I would just really highly recommend these to everybody vegan or not but those are all my February favourites I'd love to know if you have any television show recommendations because like I said I haven't been watching that much TV and that's not for lack of looking for new shows so if you've been particularly enjoying any shows recently especially new ones I might not have heard of do let me know and until next time guys happy reading and I'll see you all again soon bye